Hi everyone, Courtney here. I just wanted to start off and say Happy New Year to everybody. Um, this is something new that I am deciding to do for you guys. So um, this is the first of many weekly channeled messages. Um, you know, like everybody at the end of the year, I was reflecting a lot on what worked, what didn't work, what I liked about 2020, you know, um, what I wanted to leave behind and um, there was a point where I was writing emails every week doing weekly channeled messages and it resonated with so many people and I got so many emails and, and responses and it was just, it was amazing and it brought the community all together and um, so I wanted to put that here in this platform for all of you um, as just a kind of added bonus another thing um, that you get to look forward to each and every week so um, what you can expect is a new video um, every Monday about five ten minutes of just a weekly channeled message message and this message is for our collective so everybody inside the um, monthly goddess alignment and as people you know come and go it's going to change um, kind of anything can happen with these um, talking about energy or it might be just some simple guidance um, maybe a little practice um, just five ten minutes just to kind of start your week off with and yes I look forward to doing more and more of these so I'm super excited um, so what I wanted to share with you today because we're, we're starting off on a new year um, I know a lot of people are just kind of ready to leave 2020 behind, um, you know, and just start fresh and wipe the slate clean. Um, 2020 was a year of growth. Um, change cannot happen in the comfort zone. We have to be able, we have to be willing to get uncomfortable, um, you know, and that kind of, loosens us out of this like habitual way of living right we get so automated a lot of the time right just doing the same thing over and over again um and 2020 really shook all of that up um this year though as much as we want to leave 2020 behind um you know a new year a new day is not we're not going to see changes right away um, change doesn't happen overnight. It's not an instantaneous thing. Um, you know, technology is so beautiful and so frustrating. Like it's, it's a blessing and a curse, um, a blessing because I get to share this with you. We get to come together on this platform. We get to, you know, meet people all over the world and stay connected with one another. But Technology has also created this, um, you know, we've lost patience in our modern modern world, right? We're so used to instant gratification. You can get on your phone and order, you know, food, groceries, whatever you want. You can order anything to your heart's desire and get it on your doorstep within a matter of a few hours. And it's just, <laughs> we have to learn to have patience. Um, winter provides this beautiful time of year where we get to kind of just slow down and integrate and turn inwards. And I think the message that really wants to come through this week is just have patience with the growth and the changes that you are looking forward to. We expect to see changes in our outer world, our external world, um, our physical reality, um, but where changes are really rooted is within ourselves. It's those little, you know, those little tweaks in our mindset or choosing to eat different foods or acting or not reacting. Um, you know, to certain triggers or certain ways, um, having more self-awareness, like all of these little things are little changes that add up, right? These are all little changes that we can make within ourselves. And once this 
starts to change, right? Once we start to evolve, once we start to grow, that's when we start to notice the external changes. That's when we notice our physical reality changing, right? But it all start it all starts here. It all starts from within. So as much as everyone just wants to put 2020 behind them and, you know, just everything change and go back to however it was or whatever the circumstances, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, with a new year, we don't get to just wipe the slate clean. That's just not, that's not the human way of living. It's just, it's another day on the calendar, right? But each day, each morning provides us with the opportunities to grow, evolve, and change right here, right? And that's the blessing. That's the beauty. So one more thing I just wanted to add for this week, um, you know, New Year's resolutions. I don't know if anyone still makes them. <laughs> I think we've all... <laughs> kind of like realize like it's, I don't know, it's not the best way to view the new year. Um, but one practice that I've done for the last few years that, um, you know, has kind of just stuck with me is just picking out one word or one theme for the year. Um, so whatever, whatever that word is, right, whatever first comes to mind for you is maybe something that you need to focus on or you want to focus on. So whether that's, excuse me, health, love, expansion, growth, adventure, evolution, um, change, harmony, peace, whatever it is, right? I would love for you to pick one word for 2021. Put it down below in the comments for all of us to see, um, and I will share mine with you. So my word for 2021 20, is service. Um, the last few years for me, so 2020 was all about expansion for me. That was my word. Um, I'm trying to think what it was the year before that, but it doesn't matter. Um, my last few years have been all about me. <laughs> In all honesty, it's been about my growth, my spiritual practice, my evolution. And what I want most in 2021 is to be of service to you, to help you grow, to help your spiritual practice, to help your evolution. And through devotion, through um, rituals, through our new moon gatherings, right? Hosting, holding sacred space for you. Um, so if there is anything that I can do to be a service, I have a million things going through my mind that I want to share and add, um, as additional content as the year goes on, um, extra, you know, like webinars and classes on top of our featured goddess, um, and then also these weekly channeled messages being a part of that too. So, um, that's my word and I would love to hear from you what your word is going to be. Um, and then yes, I'll leave that there. And then if this resonates, if this message, if, you know, this reminder, you know, hits home for you, let me know. Um, you know, <laughs> we're all in this together. I'm here to support you. Um, yeah. And I'm going to leave that there. So I will see you. So each Monday, you'll get a new uh, weekly video. And yes, I will see you all next week.